Please stand for the morning prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The mission of Immaculate Conception Catholic School is to offer all students from early childhood to adolescence a quality Roman Catholic education by meeting the specific needs of the student in their spiritual, academic, cultural, physical, and social development. This will ensure a Christ-centered life and awareness of God in an ever-changing world. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. watching WICS Celtic News. From the hallways to the classroom. Bringing you the latest in school news and information. Your Celtic news starts now. Good morning, Immaculate. Today is Thursday, April 6, 2017. Welcome to your Celtic news. I'm Enrique. And I'm Catherine, and here's your daily news. St. William of Escoso was born in St. Germain, France, around 1125. He served as a canon at the Church of St. Genevieve, Paris, under the great abbot Suger until 1170 when he was sent to Denmark. He became abbot there, and during his three decades among the Danes, he also reformed many other communities. He also founded the Abbey of St. Thomas in Zealand. He died in Denmark. His feast day is on April 6. on Saturday, April 8th from 10 a.m. to 12. Bring your Easter basket and don't miss the fun, food, games, crafts, and music. Like the rest of their species, the Southern Hemisphere humpbacks are not social animals. 
The baleen whales typically prefer to remain solo or amalgamate in small groups which disperse quickly. However, since 2011, researchers from the Cape Peninsula University of Technology in Cape Town have been observing a new phenomenon off the coast of South Africa, large swarms of whales, comprising anywhere from 20 to 200 individuals. Professor Ken Finlay and his team reported seeing 22 instances of the large groups on three different occasions in 2011, 2014, and 2015. Happy National Sorry Charlie Day! National Sorry Charlie Day is observed each year on April 6. This day encourages us to think about the time we have been rejected. Whether we've been rejected by a sweetheart or by a college, a prospective employer, or by the bank for a loan, we've all been rejected. National Sorry Charlie Day also gives us the opportunity to reflect on how we survived the rejection and what we learned from it. Do you remember Charlie the Tuna? He was often rejected, but would keep going with a smile. Sorry Charlie became a closely associated with Starkiss and was a popular American catchphrase. Charlie never let rejection stop him. Do not let it stop you. Miss Callow, I brought my book report, but it's kind of late. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Wait, can I play? No! Sorry, Charlie! Hey, Miss Trichel, can I join the science team? No. Sorry, Charlie. Deacon, I brought my reflection. Really? Yes. Sorry, no can do. Hey, Miss Acosta, can I have Audrey? Uh, no. Sorry, Charlie. Emily, the final rose. Max, will you accept this rose? No. Sorry, Charlie. Bringing a dollar on Friday, April 7th to dress down in spring colors. Dismissal on Friday, April 7th at 1 p.m. Make sure to tell your parents. For more school news and information, follow us on Twitter at WICS News. And on Instagram at ICS Celtics. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Celtics. Celtics.